What's going on, everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today, we are checking out a video by Nexpo. Um, we have one more up. If you guys enjoy, like, the scary, creepy, weird stuff, Nexpo does a lot of that stuff on his channel. He covers disturbing things around the internet and all kinds of other crazy things that you could find, anomalies that you could find, scary stories, cool things. I don't know. I've always enjoyed checking his videos out since I found him a couple years back. Um, since we have the reaction channel, I figured... Why not try to boost this out to more people who might not know who he is and um, check out videos that I actually haven't seen before. This one's only eight minutes long, so it's very short compared to the other videos. But um, yeah, join me on exploring Ryan's thread or the Ryan thread. Let's go. A few days ago, a Twitter user by the name of Ryan, also known as Lust for Love, created a thread to share their experience as it unfolded while they watched their neighbor's dog. Hmm. Make of this what you will, this is how it played out. Oh my god, my neighbor asked me to watch her dog next week and she said she'll pay me $40 per day for like 5 days. 200 buck. I just went to her house to meet her and I've got some things to say. First of all, when I walked in, it was completely dark at 7pm, and by dark, I mean black. I couldn't see anything, and she was so creepy. That is your first sign. Just leave. It's not worth it. By the way, she's like she 40 years old and lives completely alone in this big ass house, but hey, I'm not judging. She can be independent. So I'm already creeped out by the way she talks, and she then insisted on touching some parts of my body every time she talked to me, like my shoulder and my hand. Mm, nope. So I'm okay. I hate this, but it's only for four days and I'm getting paid, so I'm doing this. By the way, the entire time that I've been in here, I haven't seen one dog, and that's what I'm here for. She finally takes me to a dark room where the dog is in a small ass cage, and I high key feel bad for it. She said she keeps it in there all day. And, she tells me to keep it in there when I'm watching it and only to let it out to pee. I'm like, F that, I'm saving this dog. So yeah. we talk, and she tells me about how she's hired people before <laughs> and they've poisoned her dog and she's had to deal with them. Then we continue walking around the house and make it to the living room, and she literally has stacks of Trump books and posters all over the room, and I was about to snap. She started talking about Black Lives Matter and how the media was fake news and when I thought it couldn't get creepier, she said she had cameras in the room that I was going to sleep in, the kitchen, and everywhere. No. If someone's putting cameras in the room you were sleeping in and you were No. No. You don't have to agree to be there. I'm just saying. Get the hell out of there. 200 buck ain't worth it. Until you want a raise or something. I'm gonna get murdered. <clears throat> I considered saying no, but then I was like... I'm just gonna do it, take her money, and never see her again. And that poor dog, I'm gonna help him. She probably treats yeah. him horribly. That'd be the only thing that so kept me there. So this thread is dog. to be continued. I'm sleeping there tomorrow alone, and you best believe I'll find where she hid those dead bodies. We then jump to the next night where Ryan begins another thread as they walk us through their experience. Just walked in, and this house is so much scarier at night, and I only have one cell bar. Y'all, the only way to open the front door from the inside is with a key. I'm dead if someone is in here. Is it, is Just walked in, and I have chills. <clears throat> All right, Checking that's the bedrooms. Okay. Y'all. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. How many of you people out there are petrified of dolls? Like, you know those clay, uh, not the clay fade, the porcelain face dolls with the porcelain hands and they're all... No, 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 nope, no. Okay. I'm not here for the possessed Annabelle doll sitting on that little chair in that room. Yeah. I left that shit real quick. The ceiling lights don't work. One of them only flickers, and the only light is coming from the outside. I'm looking for cameras now. 
I'm actually terrified. How am I going to sleep tonight? That's All of I'm the saying. rooms are unlocked except for this one. I don't have the key, and I'm not certain, but I think it goes to the basement. This old radio has been playing on static since I got here. She left it on in between stations. Whoa. I don't know why that gave me the creeps. <clears throat> okay. The dog is the best thing about this place. He seems fine as far as I can tell. I don't know if y'all can hear in this video, but I heard someone at the door and I've been trying to figure out what it was. You can kind of hear it. No. I looked through the peephole and nothing was there. I legit don't want to open it up and look. Okay, one of my followers said he thinks he saw something on the doll in the video. I haven't gone back in the room, but I need to check it. As I was about to enter the room, I swear on my life I heard something in that vent. It sounded like music. Did you hear that? Quick reminder that she lives alone and that her children are over 20 years old. I don't know why she has Ooh, this. No. This is the only doll in the house and it's on a chair in an empty room. Oh my god, that if thing she is were so a doll creepy. collector, she'd have more than one. One of Ryan's followers then chimed in, claiming this. No. Nope. Nope. I heard the noise at the front door again. Bro, oh, get out of there! Look at my... <laughs> get out of there! Why would... The After all of this, like... I need to bring in a friend or something. Like, if I have to go and witness this weird shit, someone else has to come with me. I can't be the only one. I'm schizophrenic. People don't believe what I say anyway half the damn time. They ain't gonna believe me if I tell them I hear him weird shit in the house. The dog wants to pee, but I'm terrified of unlocking or opening any door in this house. I was sitting on the floor charging my phone because I'm at 3% and it's about to die, and I saw that there are nails under the bed. What the hell? I'm still alive, but something else happened. I uh, heard so Okay. The message... I'm still alive. The message, I'm still alive. Like it... <clears throat> you almost got to feel like with a message like that, like you're trying to draw something in. Like attention or something. I'm still alive. Alive. You mean something you're still happened. alive? I heard something hit the ground in the room the doll is in. The dog is crying, and I didn't move anything in that room. I don't know what I'm looking for. Doll on the ground? People are saying the doll could have a camera in it. I'm trying to FaceTime my friend right now, and my heart is racing. My phone died as it was still plugged into the outlet, and my phone's the only electronic and way of communication in this house. One of my followers said they can't come over. I can't sleep here and I might have to leave. They can't come because they're too scared to go too. Screw that. You get out. I just talked I'm to a saying. friend and she said it's probably nothing and I should wait it out until morning. You, you get conflicted. over here and help me. One of my followers asked me to check and see if she had any books on the paranormal. For those of you asking about the light, it's a lamp I found in one of the empty rooms which I mentioned earlier. Not to be every white girl in a horror movie, but should I stay through the witching hour? Oh no. No joke. I'm getting really bad energy from the room the doll is in. There's something bad in there. And then we jump forward once again to the newest string of oh Ryan's my tweets. Gosh. Uh, I just unplugged my headphones. I gotta get a new cord. I'm okay. The dog is okay. And this was one of the scariest nights of my life. I started hearing things. Really scary things at like 1am and I started having a panic attack and had to leave. 
I can't force anyone to believe me, and I know some people don't, but I know what I saw, heard, and felt. I'm never going back. Thank you all for everything. End of this whack-ass thread. Once more, make of this what you will. And that was it! Another big analysis is coming. Nothing ever heard. Coming this week. I love you all. Another big analysis? Alright, we're checking and that good out. Night. Shout out to Nexpo for this. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you guys haven't heard of Nexpo, definitely make sure you go over and check out his channel. Especially if you enjoyed this content. He has a bunch of other stuff like this. Whether or not it's true or fake or who cares. It's still very interesting, I feel. Um, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see what happened with the Ryan thread. I'll be looking into that. So maybe I'll make a part two on this or something like that. So be on the lookout for Ryan thread part two or something like that. Um, yeah, let me know where to go from here. Check out one of the other videos currently floating around before you take off, and I'll catch you on the next one.